Hey there, friendlies. How's up? Proper 12. Shoulder four. I've been working hard on this one. I'm trying to find something to, well actually, I was working hard on it and I haven't touched it in months and months and months. I seem to remember this being what I at that point called, or at some point called a pile of crap disguised as a bottle of whiskey. Now here's the thing, it says smooth as fast. Up here it says rich and smooth. A smooth blend with hints of vanilla, honey, and toasted wood. Do not believe that that is natural coloring. Do not believe that this is non-chill filtered. This is all stuff I went into when I did my first review. So I'm just doing nose and taste, if there is any. And uh, I'm, I'm really hoping that my memory of this is poorer than my experience today will be. Okay, what are, was our percentage? Is it like a 43 or something? Was it, is it a 43? Is it a 40? Oh, it's a 40 on top of it. 40 is you're throwing in minimum effort for my money. 43 is like, well, at least I'm not 40. Uh, whatever, anyways. Okay, in we go. At 40%, I'm not afraid of going right in. There's nothing there. There's, there's like, they say um, hints of vanilla, honey, and something else, toasted wood, but we're talking hints. Very faint. Um, oh, I just got it on my nose. Hold on. There's a slight ethanol thing to it. Uh, synthetic sugary note. That doesn't mean that I'm thinking that they're shooting flavors in. I'm just saying it's the alcohol is carrying the show here, which always, when the alcohol zing is stronger than the vanilla, it always seems a little um, synthetic to me. Sorry, the neighbors are talking right there. Uh, nose, I just, I mean, I'm right in there and I'm not getting a lot. Nose is two. This, this, I don't believe I spent my money on this. Evidently, my memory of this is not darker than the experience is going to be. All right, let's go to the palette. It tastes synthetic. It tastes like ethanol. There's a sweetness, a sugariness there. It's a one trick pony. I'm, not, I'm looking for citrusy. I'm, I'm looking for malty. I'm looking for the, the, the oak. I'm looking for anything to like in this. And it's just, after my first review, I, I worked on it a lot to see if I could find something, but no. Two, absolutely two, fuck it. Nope. Um, I spent my money on that. I, I spent my money on that. For the channel. But I spent my money on that. So that you wouldn't have to. Uh, here's a question for you. Um, I've heard that since this brand was bought by someone else that maybe it's better now than it used to be. If anyone out there knows and thinks I should try a newer bottling, let me know down below, okay? As, as it is, there's a neighbor with his stereo on, so, and this bottle sucked, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shut her down. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me for this hopefully very short, painless review. I can't back that purchase, I gotta be honest with you. Uh, as I always say, if you like what I'm doing, please do the following three things. One, comment down below. Are the newer bottlings any better than this? Is it worth the 38 bucks or whatever it's, it costs here in Quebec? Um, to share this video if you think it's cool to watch somebody complain. <laughs> and three, leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's all right. Leave me a frowny thumb. Thanks for watching, guys.
Hey, you know what? I just wanted to clarify something, okay? Um, when I said two for nose, I believe, and for palette, um, I don't mean two on 10, like with my old grading system, okay? Uh, I mean 2%. I really don't like this bottle. Do with that what you will. Bye. <music>